Hello everyone, this is the Fuzzy Slug again with a new Discord tutorial. Uh, this tutorial will be how to install custom plugins and themes for Discord. The last tutorial that I did on how to install a custom ringtone for Discord did really well. I uh, got a lot of positive feedback and uh, people even asked for me to do more tutorials on it, so I will be. Uh, this one will be, like I said, how to install custom plugins and themes. Uh, many people have asked since I did the last plugin, which was the ringtone plugin, uh, they've asked for other plugins like um, there's like some translation ones, and I know they um, I know a list of uh, plugins which I will be sharing with you guys, uh, and it offers a lot of uh, customization for Discord, uh, just like translation, but that one I don't think is working for some reason. Uh, gotta get to the author on that one. But I will be linking everything in the description below, including the uh, video I did on how to install a custom ringtone in case anybody wants to go back to that one. Also, I will be sharing more info with you guys about that one since Better Discord, which is the plugin we use uh, that cust uh, lets us customize Discord, has changed since we've last uh, talked about it. So uh, we're going to go back to the Better Discord website and click the download button, which will take us to a GitHub page. Uh, and will show us the bandaged better discord which was actually the second step in the tutorial last time uh, but now it will be the first this time since the original better discord uh, is no longer being released or uh, updated so we're going to open this executable file and wait for that to load up there it is uh, just going to show you guys in user settings this is a fresh discord install and there we are agree we're going to install it, install to stable, and restart all Discord instances so it actually works. So it'll load up and uh, start working. So it finished, so we can exit, and it should be starting it back up automatically. Installing updates, sure, why not? I haven't launched this virtual machine in a while, so I'm sure it has some updates to catch up on. Okay, so now that it has launched, we can go into user settings and see that it's all here. We have core, bandages, emotes, custom CSS, plugins, and themes. So once we're here, we can open this plugins folder. And we'll notice that the folder is empty. Uh, or you guys might still have the notification sounds plugin still in there. Um, I have a link down below which you can go to, which has the entire list of uh, plugins that I at least have. I think it's like 70 something. Uh, it also includes th some themes. I think only one. Yep, only one. Uh, let's see, we get we got 70 plugins in here. I'll recommend to you guys that you disable some of them and I will go through which ones those are because some of them can make Discord a little weird and uh, I personally don't like some of those. So we're going to wait for it to download here. Okay, so once it has downloaded, it will download as a zip file so you can extract, uh, actually don't extract these just yet. We're going to go to our better Discord folder and as long as you guys have nothing in these folders, we can go ahead and just delete them and then replace them. If you do have stuff in them then just go ahead and open them up and uh, drag all their contents in into the folders not just this folder. This folder always has to have a themes and a plugins uh, folder. So once that's done we can go in and see that all of our plugins are here all the customization. So we should be able now to restart Discord by going down here right clicking Discord and clicking quit then going into our Windows search typing Discord and it should pop up. There it is. So I'll be starting up here and hopefully this doesn't take too long. So once the Discord loads back up we can go to user settings and go down the plugins and themes and we see that they, they are all here. Uh, let's see what background this is. Ah, this is the background I use. <laughs> Doesn't look too shabby. We can go down the plugins. If you guys don't like that, you can always disable it. I'll disable it for now. We can go to plugins, uh, and here are the ones I recommend that you uh, enable. So, better friend count. Yep, I'll keep that. Better SFW. A lot of these are kind of useless, or they offer no real benefit, but I just like to have them just, uh, just so they're there. For example, this just in Let's you see the roll colors. Uh, I think I don't. Rem oh, okay. So when something like this happens, the library plugin needed for better rolls, is, uh, red better roll colors is missing. You're gonna go to their download. It's gonna download it. You're gonna keep it. You're gonna go to percent app data. Percent. Then a better Discord. Plugins, and you're just gonna completely uh, 
I don't think you're going to re uh, replace. I think you're just going to add it. Is that in there now? I think it is. Push OK. There we go. Now it works. It seems like it works instantly. Yep, so you don't have to replace anything. Uh, so a lot of these uh, don't really do any benefit. Uh, some of them do. I just like to have them. For example, better roll colors. Um, adds server-based roll colors to typing, voice pop-outs, models, and more. I just like to have them because they look pretty cool. Uh, let's see if we can see a difference now. I'm going to the Galactic Federation, which is a Discord that I'm part of. Um, as for now, it doesn't seem like it's doing anything. We might have to restart Discord for them to work as well. Let's go back to our Discord settings. Kind of got lost there. There we are. And we can start enabling them. Better search page, character counter, that's very useful. Chat aliases, chat filter. And a lot of these will come up with updates. All you have to do is uh, click on them and it will update them automatically without you having to restart Discord. It's pretty nice. Timestamps will show you with uh, with pictures when they are posted exactly when creation date. This one leave disabled display servers as channels. It gets very annoying. It like makes all your servers pop up very weirdly. Edit channels. Uh, these will let you edit and rename um, channels and servers uh, and users client side, uh, but they will not appear for everyone else on the server. So I'm just going to enable. I think uh, the rest of these should be good. Okay, friend notifications could not be started for some reason. Google Translate used to work. I don't know why it doesn't anymore. Movable pop-ups, very useful. Notification sounds, we already know about this, and I'll get back to that in the settings button. Old title bar. I'll just r remove that title bar right there. I prefer to leave that off, though. Personal pins, pin your own things. Uh, client side, pin DMs, plug and repo. Read all notifications button. Extremely useful if you're in a lot of discords. Remove nicknames. That's if you uh, if you're in a discord and they have a bunch of nicknames and you just want to see their normal names. You can turn that on and you'll see their uh, you'll uh, see their normal names instead of their nicknames. Yep. Um, repo controls. Whoa, that took me all the way up here. That's weird. Scroll back down here. We are. Reverse image search, you can right click an image and uh, look it up on Google, see similar images or see the same exact one. <laughs> 15 of your plugins are outdated, I wonder. Let's see here, where were we? It kind of throws you off when you enable some of these because it just does a lot of stuff. Server folders, you can organize your servers into folders on the left side. Server hider, you can hide certain servers that you don't like. Show hidden channels, so any channels you cannot see because of your role or your rank, you can now see, but you can't join or edit them. Image details, spell check, very useful. Stalker notifications, I really don't know what this one is. Let's you observe the status of people that aren't your friends. Uh, explains itself. Steam profile link, theme repo. Top role everywhere, I wouldn't like to have that. It's on the right side when you see all your roles, I think. I'm pretty sure it'd make you the highest roll. Um, just on top, it wouldn't really give you any permissions. Right uppercase makes the first letter in every sentence uh, you type, uh, or at the beginning of every message you send, uh, uppercase, and then the uh, Xeris plugin library. So now we can update all of these. Might take a little bit, might be a bit laggy. And again, this uh, virtual machine's on two gigs of RAM, which uh, isn't recommended by Windows, but it's getting the job done. We are cleaning it up real nice. Alright, some of these aren't going to work for some reason. 
Uh, I might just have to restart Discord for that because uh, how many plugins were reloading. Once that's uh, once that's done, oh, we have some folders. <laughs> the Department of Justice. I remember when I was part of that. Let me quit Discord. Go back in. So I don't know why some of these uh, plugins are transferring from my home station t across to my virtual station. That's a bit strange because that uh, server folder that you guys saw there, the uh, DOJ folder, uh, was a, an old folder I had uh, for my uh, Department of Justice roleplay community. I was a part of a long time ago for uh, Grand Theft Auto V. Go ahead and delete that folder. I don't know why that was there. What we can see now that a lot of these are now working and I'm pretty sure these are the plugins loading in down here. Let's see if we can enable the theme as well. There we are. That looks pretty good. So now that we install the theme and all the plugins, I'll be showing you guys how to reconfigure the notification sounds plugin, which is the plugin we used uh, in the last tutorial for the uh, custom ringtones. Uh, there is a new system for how to add the uh, sounds without actually having to go into the files. So you just go to the uh, plugin here, you get, click on settings, and you can change all the sounds with uh, a file path, a URL, uh, browse file, click add, and uh, you can change it just by with these drop down lists. So once you add a file, you should be able to open the drop down list and click on the song uh, and change it for the new chat messages, direct message, mention ping, and all these options so you don't actually have to go into your files anymore. So thank you guys for watching this tutorial. Uh, if you liked it, leave a like. Comment down below if I should make more of these Discord tutorials, and I'll see you guys in the next video.